We did strawberries in the past, but today we're going to do them a little bit differently. As in the past, we did the three cloth demonstration. Today, we're going to show them live the way it is. When you open strawberries, you can find the thrips hiding under the umbrella of the strawberry, the leaves. And we have over here two packages that were, were randomly bought from a store. One package is from Mexico, the, the other package is from California. And when we took them out, every single strawberry in them was infested, as you can see them right now. And the way you'll find them easily is when you pick up the umbrella, which means the leaves that are on top of the strawberry, you'll see those thrips actually alive. Sometimes you find one, and sometimes a whole army of them. Mamasha Zoo. You'll see over here one of them that uh, actually on the cavity, is walking around the cavity. You'll find them in the cavities, in the folds the sec that secures the bugs inside where they wouldn't come out. And you'll see that um, those insects, the thrips, are actually much larger in size than what's asu, what's forbidden. The size that would be forbidden is 0 0.02 millimeters, according to the Psak of Yashiv. And those thrips are usually the size of a half to a one millimeter, which is much larger than the size that's considered nirele and naim, that's visible to the eye, as we're going to see them soon in the strawberry itself. Rabbi Benjio, maybe you can show us in the strawberry itself how we can find those, uh, those thrips. So here there's one uh, actually on one seed of the 200 seeds that are usually in the strawberry. The thrip is circulating the seed. Uh, and it likes actually being around the seed as it feels secure around the seed and sometimes can burrow himself under the seed and uh, be hidden from the visible eye. Um, over here, the, the thrip, which is uh, 0.5 millimeters, is circulating the seed and has not left the seed for about a minute. As one can see close by, this thrip is 0 0.5 millimeters and is actually magnified to 35 times its side. Now, when we're talking about strawberries, we need to understand also that there are also other uh, berries that would not be able to be checked, and those are blackberries, the raspberries, the goji berries, which are uh, which should be refrained because they are very complicated to check. Handling them. Causing them, causes them to fall apart, and therefore one should refrain from using those. There's also the gooseberries, that also known as the golden berries, the cape should be removed, and then once it's removed, the fruit itself should be washed thoroughly, and then one is allowed to eat them. Okay, we'll, so now we're going to pick up strawberries. Okay, so we will pick up random strawberries, and we'll see what we can find under them. So the rabbi is checking under the umbrella of the leaf. And here, he picked up a live one. You can easily see it with the eye when you, uh, when you come close to it. And now the rabbi is putting it by the light box, so we'll be able to recognize it, to identify it. Easily identify just by the fact that it moves a white insect moves around the flash of the strawberry. But we'll show how it looks actually once you put it on the light box. We're magnifying it.
So this machine magnifies it and now times 60 times for this one. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.